right, welcome to episode three of this series. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the really neat features of water, uh, particularly the polarity. And we're going to learn about what polarity is here in just a minute. But what's really, really neat about water is, A, it's the most abundant compound found in living things. You know, 80% of your body is going to be water. Two, every chemical reaction that occurs in a living thing occurs in a solution of water. And we're going to learn why water is really good at dissolving things. And what's really, really unique is that water will expand when it freezes, and that's why water floats. All right, I want you to pay attention right in here into this picture. When water freezes, it forms this basically, uh, oh, how should we say this, this orientation where the white things are hydrogen and the red things are oxygen, so it's oxygen to hydrogen, hydrogen to oxygen, etc. And you see this empty space right in here? Think of it as like tiny little air pockets, and that's why water is less dense and it will float when it freezes. And that has a huge impact on our climate because if you imagine if, if ice would sink, parts of our ocean would be nothing but pure ice from bottom to the top, especially around the Arctic and the Antarctic. So ponder that one the next time you see uh, ice floating. All right, let's move on to our next slide. All right, polarity, that's the key feature when it comes to water, polarity. And I want you to think about what polar means. Polar means opposite directions. So I want you to think of like a battery, like a AA battery that you'd put in a camera or, or a electrical toy uh, or body battery operated toy. Or also think about our planet, the globe. You've got a North Pole and you've got a South Pole. They're opposite sides. Now, how is water um, polar? Well, it's polar because it has an unequal sharing of electrons. Now, I want you to remember that polar, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase this, that water is a covalent uh, compound. And covalent simply means that you share electrons. So what's happening is, is that oxygen and hydrogen are sharing electrons to make their outer levels of their electron uh, cloud um, full. So for hydrogen, it wants to have two electrons. And for oxygen, it wants to have eight. Remember the octet rule, okay? But what happens is, is that they don't share equal. And the reason that there's unequal sharing is that oxygen is an electron hog. Now I wanna zoom down here on this picture. Oxygen, as you can see here, it's a much bigger atom than the hydrogen. So think of like you're around a bunch of little kids, you know, two, three year old. Often that bigger, stronger, meaner kid is going to be hogging the toys from the little tech kids. So basically, oxygen here is an electron hog. Now, the oxygen end of the molecule doesn't get to hog the electrons all the time, just most of the time. And that will give it a partial negative charge. Now, we're going to use this symbol for partial. And this is actually from the Greek alphabet. This is a lowercase delta. A capital delta is a triangle. Uh, think of the letter D. So this is a lowercase d, and it simply means partial. So this will be a partial negative. Now hydrogen, on the other hand, it doesn't have the electrons all the time. So it has a partial positive charge. Okay, so we're going to zoom back down on this again. Okay, so this oxygen is going to be hogging the electrons. So as you can see here, partial negative, same sign as we just drew before. And then this um, hydrogen is going to be partially positive. So there we have our opposite side. Think of the oxygen end is the negative side of the molecule. The hydrogen is the positive sign or side of the, of the molecule. Now make a note of this one right here, number four. This is why it's colored. All the special things that water can do is because of its polarity. The polarity is really, really important. It allows water to do all the neat stuff. And without water on this planet and its polarity, life on this planet wouldn't be possible. That's why when we send out these probes out to other planets, such as the Mars rovers that are out there now, they're looking for water because for us, we're assuming that if we find water, we'll find life, okay? So remember, oxygen in is negative, hydrogen in is positive. All right, let's move it along. 
Okay, now, this polarity of water having a partial negative in and a partial positive in allows it to form a very special type of relatively weak but kind of strong enough to do some neat things uh, bond, and it's called a hydrogen bond. So really what a hydrogen bond is, it's the weak attraction between the partial positive of one end, and remember, the partial positive is the hydrogen. Now let's write that in there. Let's go with blue here. Okay, so the partial positive, that's the hydrogen end. Remember the partial negative, that's the oxygen end. I'm going to put an OXY for that. That's the oxygen end. So the, the, uh, the hydrogen is going to be attracted to the oxygen of a nearby or closer, uh, close uh, water molecule. So let's look over here in this picture. A hydrogen bond, as you can see right here, it's always formed by one, two, three dots. So notice this partial negative is attracted to this partial positive. This partial positive is attracted to that partial negative, so on and so forth. Now, the oxygen in reality actually has two partial negative parts to it. So that allows um, water to form four hydrogen bonds at once. And remember, three dots represent a hydrogen bond. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And remember, all the neat stuff that water can do is because of that polarity. Oh! Now, some of the neat things that come from the polarity of water are cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is the attraction of water molecules to other water molecules. So I want you to remember this right here. See where it says co? Co means the same. Okay, remember covalent, copilot, they're the same. And then adhesion simply means to stick. So in other words, you're going to stick to something. So like remember like an adhesive bandage, adhesive tape. Okay, so cohesive means stick together, um, you know, stay with the same. So this is because of all of that polarity that you find in a water molecule. So what happens is hydrogen bonds will form between the molecules. All right, we're going to zoom in on this picture. Okay, one of the things that you're going to see in, in water molecules is that these water molecules that are, are down in the middle of a glass of water, so to speak, uh, they're going to be attracted to water molecules on all sides. But at the top, we have what is called surface tension. Because these molecules up on the top, because there's nothing above them, they're being pulled down. And so what happens is these water molecules on the surface are going to pack really tightly together. And you have this very thin film on top of the water. Now, certain organisms, such as this water strider that you see here above, they can sit on top of this film. So you see this dent right here from its feet on top of the water? That dent is because of surface tension. Now surface tension is also the reason why water droplets are round. So look down here on this bottom picture. All these water molecules that are on this surface of the water droplet are being pulled inside due to cohesion. Now I'm going to go back here to the surface tension. Remember when you're a little kid or maybe over the summer, you're on the dock or you're on a high dive or you're on some kind of dive at a pool and you do a belly smacker? The reason the belly smacker hurts is because your skin is smashing into this thin film of water and before you can break through it, you know, it's, you know, it's causing some pain. So belly smackers are the result of surface tension. All right move on to the next one and this will be our final slide of this video this is called adhesion now just like before uh, let's do a different color let's go back to purple the ad means simply different and then the adhesion part remember that means to stick okay so what happens here is when you have adhesion you're sticking to something different than you. So remember we talked about like adhesive tape and adhesive bandage. When you stick a Band-Aid on, on a cut, you're not made out of Band-Aid, you're made out of human. So when that Band-Aid is sticking to you, 
that's adhesion because it's not band-aid to band-aid. Now, if you stick band-aids together to each other, that's cohesion. You're sticking the same together. How adhesion occurs is because the, the band-aid, for example, is making hydrogen bonds with your skin. Now, capillary action is an example of adhesion in action. And capillary action is defined as uh, water moving up very small diameter tubes. So as you can see here, we've got a dish of water and we have different diameters of tubes. Now, here's a neat little fact I want you to see, and it should be obvious here in this picture. The smaller the diameter, the higher it will go up into the tube. Now, if you look inside the tube, and I'm sure your science teachers have told you this before, that when you're measuring water in a graduated cylinder, you're going to measure at the bottom of the meniscus. Meniscus means curve. So you're going to measure right down here at the bottom. So let me, let me go back over here to this picture. The part of the meniscus where it goes down, that's called by surface tension. And remember, surface tension is a form of cohesion. But the part that's moving up, that's caused by adhesion. So we always want to measure in a graduated cylinder or a test tube or whatever at the bottom of the meniscus. Okay, so let's review. Polarity. This is an unequal sharing of electrons. Oxygen in is negative. It's the electron hog. Hydrogen in is positive. Those opposite sides is polarity. All the cool stuff that water can do is because of this polarity. Uh, polarity leads to two really important types of uh, interactions. One is called cohesion. This is the attraction of water molecules to each other. The other one is adhesion. Adhesion is the attraction of water molecules to other substances. The reason why water molecules are going to be attracted to itself and certain other substances is because it can form hydrogen bonds, which are the weak attractions between the hydrogen end of one water molecule and the oxygen end of another. So, until the next episode, we're going to catch you on that flip side.